Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be an episode on the potential for a major hurricane in the Pacific Ocean. And the reason I'm doing this is because it probably won't have impact on our homeland. But it's just, I feel like it's kind of cool and I just want to update you on whether it doesn't, everything does not need to be all impactful about us. It's just cool to show you that in the Pacific Ocean, this hurricane... And this hurricane could actually be the first major hurricane of the Pacific Ocean. So, um, if we go, but before we actually, before before we spin off into talking about hurricanes, um, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video. It really helps out a lot. If you don't know how, red subscribe button, click on it, and done. Thank you for that, if you did so. And, um, so as of now, it's an elong elongated area of low pressure. I mean, you could see, it's just very 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 wide and it's not technically considered a high or a low but it's towards the lower side of pressure and you can see this um becomes more um organized not so broad anymore it's more tightly packed and it becomes more and tightly packed um this is thursday already you can see there's the date and i'm not fooling you guys this is um gfs 10 meter wind speed this isn't like 10,000 meters in atmosphere 10 meter wind speed and i know that just because the gfs shows it it's not doesn't mean it's gonna happen but um the other models canadian model the icon model the other hurricane models have been actually going towards um have been actually um, going towards the what the GFS has been saying. So they're leaning towards it more and more towards what the GFS is saying. I mean, the GFS is it's not even that far out. Look, 120 hours out, and it's showing a major Category 4, if not 5, hurricane occurring in a Pacific Ocean. So you can see this just strengthens. Um, this is beginning of Friday. It's 990. At the end of the day, Friday, it's 960. That is absolutely a bomb out low pressure. It is very strong. It is almost seems unstoppable at 939 pressure. Let me zoom in on this. I need you to see this. Um, look at that 939 pressure. That is insane. So um, it does continue to spin off um, a little bit further north, northwest, but then it does die fairly quickly. You could see. Um, but there's another hurricane that falls right behind it in its steps. And this is what the part I don't want to really believe. Because you can see it just... Look, so it's going from a 958 millibar hurricane. Which is very strong for a hurricane. Almost unprecedented. And then from 995, boom, disappears. Not even a trace. So this is where I think the GFS may be a little bit loopy and not too good. With this, I do think they have the GFS has a good indicator or indication that the hurricane will be forming and it will be major. However, I'm not sure if the GFS is too confident on this actual track. So you can see that um, I don't think it will just disappear in one day unless there's an absolute massive wind shear and everything working against it. Cold water, massive wind shear. Um, just the thunderstorms blowing apart the mountains in Mexico, intruding it. I'm not sure, but I don't think it will disappear like that. And what might happen that this might cross the ocean, uh, across Mexico, and not necessarily be a hurricane in America, but um, North America, uh, USA, but it might just be extra moisture that might lead to some, you know, severe weather flooding in the southeast. Not necessarily a hurricane, so don't freak out about that, but... There's so there's potentially two hurricanes that could be major status and later on it does quiet down but as of now it does seem fairly serious and if we go actually to the Saffir Simpson scale and you're wondering well you're just making this up and how do you know a 939 is a category almost 5 hurricane there is a, actually a scale that translates and you can see that um, 944 to 920, which is 9, oh, wait, hold up, this is 939, so that's in that scale, um, that is category 4 hurricane, and now that's not the only proof I have for that, um, they're also, the wind speeds are going to be, um, are going to be stronger, so, I mean, I also want to show you the wind speeds, the wind speeds are going to be in this range of 131 to 155, so, um, if we go, but you can see that, Anything, if it crosses even a couple of miles per hour past 155, it's considered a Category 4, 5. Um, so, 
uh, you could see, let's just, I'll, this is a website called Metusky. It plays out a hurricane. You can see this is wind gusts. I am on, so let's switch it to wind speed 10 meters above ground. This is model GFS, and let's play it out for you. This is Wednesday. You can see this is the time, 7, 10 o'clock p.m. It really starts quickly organizing. Let's zoom in on this um, so I can show you the wind speeds. You can see 39, 50. Oh, it starts getting into the 70s right there, 80s. Uh, and let's stop it right there. So Friday around 10 a.m., max sustained winds around 70 miles per hour. So that is fairly strong hurricane. Uh, that is already actually considered a hurricane, 75 plus. So um, Friday 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it might already be a hurricane, 78 miles per hour, spinning off. And then it just blows up from this point. You can see the black starts showing up, the dark purple. That is... Oh, yep, it brings 100 miles per hour, 102. So that's definitely something that um, we'll need to keep an eye on. And depending on whether this forms or not, I'll be making another video on it. But let's see this. You could see 100. Let's zoom further in on this because this is um, really interesting. So you can see that 115, 114 miles per hour at the, s at the center, it's... 38 37 which it should be almost calm for a strong hurricane but we keep going forward and you could see that it just keeps strengthening or at least keeping its calm so there was one day where it was around 120 and I can't seem to locate it now but um let's just keep playing this maybe it's now um i uh, sorry yeah, but mark my words on it. This was around 130 miles per hour. And I'll need to see and show you that, guys, at towards the end. But as of now, I also want to go to the National Hurricane Center and show you that the National Hurricane Center has issued a, um, what is this, disturbance one. And it's the actual name of it is, I think, one, I actually, does it show it? I don't think it does. Uh, well, it's just disturbance one, 60% chance of cyclone formation in 48 hours. And then you could just read here formation chance through 48 hours, medium 60%. Formation, formation chance, now let's go down here. Um, formation chance right here, formation chance through five days, high 90%. So, National Hurricane Center, you could see, is um, fairly confident that it will be at least forming into some sort of formation with tropical like a tropical formation and you can see this is what it looks like as of now um nothing too organized but this is definitely something that will we will need to watch so you can see shower and thunderstorm activity has gradually increased today in association with a broad and in elongated area of low pressure located several hundred miles south of the southern coast of mexico so again i don't think that this will be a threat to at least the u.s coast However, this could reach into Mexico, cause flooding, and this exact track of this is not really, um, isn't really to be, uh, it, it really isn't, um, I lost the word, sorry, it isn't really to be, it's still not determined. So, this is, you could see, I think, yeah, disturbance, 90% chance of, of cyclone development in the next five days and it seems to be going in that direction you could see more than 60 percent and this is a second disturbance so I think now they have two disturbances I'm not sure if this is just updated or something but you can see that the National Hurricane Center is picking up on this this isn't just me I'm not making this up to get views so please don't give me um, hate in the comment sections below but you can see that this definitely does spin off into a major hurricane and it's going to be fairly small. It's not going to be the size of Hurricane Sandy or anything like that. It's actually a very small hurricane, but it doesn't really matter if it's a small hurricane. It could still pack a punch, but again, it most likely won't be packing a punch because there is no one that, there's no one that lives in the ocean. But this is just a cool little video I wanted to make on, for you guys. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I actually want to show you the CMC model first. And because some of the people were saying that the CMC is more accurate, and you can see that um, the CMC also has it forming somewhat 995, and it has been strengthening it throughout the day, especially the second one, 989, which has been in the morning was 999, 999. So um, definitely a strengthen. That's what I'm saying when the CMC has leaned towards the GFS. 
And if you're also wondering how much rain is with this, let's go back to the GFS since I think that one's more accurate. Um, let's go to total accumulated precip. Um, I think in just, yep, just a new run's coming in, but let's go back to the old ones. Um, let's go back. You can see where the hurricane takes the track. It's absolutely insane. Um, this is just ridiculous. You can see the amounts of rain are um, yellow, so that is 24 inches plus. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm boring you guys with this, but um, it's just basically a threat. It's really late at night, by the way, and... I, I may be sounding weird in this video because I am just tired, so sorry about that, but um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't want to bore you anymore since this may be boring. I don't know if a lot of people are watching this at this point, but thank you so much if you stayed to the end. And if you did, comment down um, Hurricane in the comment section below if you stayed to the end. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next episode.